Welcome back. Well, a lot of us here in Western New York see snow as an unavoidable nuisance, but a UB research team sees it as a learning experience and a way to prepare for the future. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. Lake effect snow in Western New York is a seasonal fact of life. These storms can dump massive amounts of snow on a given area as cold winds pick up moisture over the warmer lake. UB assistant professor Elizabeth Thomas is leading a study that's looking at past precipitation history in an effort to help predict snowfall. We looked to previous warm periods in the past that can serve as analogs for today and for potentially the future. Um, and so if we can understand how lake effect snowfall behaved during these previous warm times, we can maybe do a better job of predicting future snowfall. To do that, the research team collects sediment from local ponds and bogs. Of particular interest is ancient leaf wax, extracted from the mud and analyzed in the lab. The waxes have hydrocarbons that provide important clues to past precipitation levels. The hydrogens in those waxes come from the water that the plants suck up from the soil. And so the hydrogen isotopes in those leaf waxes reflect the hydrogen isotopes of rain and snowfall. So the gas chromatograph separates out the individual leaf waxes and then we convert it to hydrogen gas and then the, the isotopes of that hydrogen gas gets measured on this the team then compares the isotopes extracted from the five to 10,000 year old leaf samples to more recent snowfall samples. This allows the researchers to fill in past climate history as well as looking into the future. We know from other records that other paleoclimatologists have generated that that time period was relatively warm. It's actually still a little bit cooler than we are today because we've been, humans have been warming the surface of the earth so much but it's definitely warmer than the pre-industrial period. This knowledge will be important as our region moves forward in an era of climate change. Our goal is to be able to understand in how lake effect snowfall behaves in a relatively warm climate with the ultimate goal of being able to work with climate modelers to do a better job of predicting the future and then also open up conversations with um, decision makers in our community. The UB team is already working with citizen scientists throughout the area, but needs more volunteers. Our current study sites are not right in the heart of any of the lake effect snow belts, and so we'd love to find a natural lake or bog that we could collect sediment cores from to look at how lake effect snowfall behaved right in the heart of the lake effect band. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.